Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and being a producer of Wrestle Massacre, as well as Inside Movies Galore, I am David Streggy, and welcome to Delusions of Grandeur. Enjoy the reviews. I certainly did. college flunkies. I've had enough of this from you and from everyone else. I know what you guys are trying to do. Break me down, drive me out of the force. Well, it's gonna take a hell of a lot more than a lame prank like this to get Curtis Mooney to throw in his badge, so fuck you. Over. Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Delusions of Grandeur. I'm your host, David Streggy, and here I have another review for you. This time, uh, for, uh, uh, I'm back again with another review from Anne Hedenia uh, Films. Um, and it's called Anne Hedenia Films Unlimited, uh, is the production company. And it is directed by Evan Jacobs. Um, and it's uh, about a film called The Riverbed. And let me just, uh, tell you what, uh, the back of this uh, 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 says. Um, so Nick Tolliver wants to make a, a documentary, a, a film about the homeless crisis in Orange County, California. He gets more than he is bargained for, uh, uh, than he bargained for when he is cursed in the process. And this is a 2019 film, I believe. Um, so, yeah. Um, so, Evan Jacobs actually uh, uh, plays the character of Nick Tolliver. Um, and uh, he's supposedly going out and meeting another guy. Uh, a, a guy uh, and... Uh, um, the riverbed uh, just so happens to be this um, dried up um, piece of stonery um, that looks like it's got kind of a river. And uh, apparently in Orange County, uh, there's a homeless problem. And um, as he's walking to this area, it's all gated up and whatnot. And um, he's warned by his... Um, the second person that's supposed to be, to be arriving about uh, not going near a certain area of park 
Um, and uh, apparently there are some tents that, uh, that are uh, set up all along this riverbed where the homeless are supposed to be um, living. And uh, when he gets there, he is, uh, I guess, he's... <laughs> He ends up running into a man who kind of curses him, and uh, as the film goes on, um, he starts coughing up different pieces of garbage. Like he, he coughs up several pieces, a uh, piece, several peanuts, you know, like uh, like that that which would come from a packing box, <laughs> um, some newspaper. And, uh, ultimately, eventually, he believes that he is turning into a piece of trash. So, <laughs> um, the idea of it is kind of strange. Um, but, uh, ultimately, it's kind of like a do not fuck with the homeless kind of, um, kind of movie. It's... Uh, but um, I also think that uh, it is a film that's tr uh, trying to portray that the, uh, there is a problem of homelessness um, in the w in the world today, and uh, for being a one person film, maybe two people act acting because I, I believe there is a, uh, a another actor who played in Death Toilet and I believe plays in Death Toilet too as uh, the preacher um, uh, which is another production from Evan Jacobs um, I, be I believe you don't really get to see much of that um, so I mean is this film believable um, I guess if you have an imagination uh, a really good imagination. You can just follow the film and believe it. But the film is kind of slow. Um, there is not really a lot of money put into this film. So I, I, I believe that the, this is kind of a, a, a basement film in a sense. I guess if you wanted to put it that way. <laughs> it's not a great film, nor is it an entirely bad film. It, it, because it is a good idea. Um, could he have done more with it? Um, if he had somewhat of a budget for it. Because I believe that... He went out with his smart uh, uh, smart uh, uh, phone, and be, uh, being that he filmed it on his own and he was trying to film himself, I actually think he didn't do uh, do too bad of a job for doing just that without having anyone else film it for him. Um, in order to, I feel like. There were moments that I actually saw him take the uh, garbage out of his mouth instead of it just popping out. But if you have any kind of a um, imagination to go down that road, to believe that uh, that he is in fact cursed, I believe that you can watch this film and believe it um, if you if you want to. So, was it put together well? I think it could have been better. Uh, I, I, think, uh, the, uh, I think he should have uh, uh, ha had the ability to sh uh, show the garbage coming out of his mouth just a little better. Um, uh, because I feel like I saw too much um, to not believe it. And it's not that I hate the film or in any way, shape, or form. I just couldn't bring myself to entirely believe the curse um, that he was trying to portray. That being said, 
It's not that Evan Jacobs films are bad in any way, way shape, or form. Um, I believe that he is trying. And uh, you can only just get better with time to me. And I do believe that, uh, that uh, I do have another film to review by, uh, by him. So uh, hopefully you get a chance to watch this uh, film. It did, it did and does have a very limited uh, run. Um, I like the cover of this. I mean, if you take a, lo a look at the uh, uh, back, it's kind of plain. But I like the, co uh, uh, the cover. The covers of his films seem to get better and better. Um, as it goes along, so, um, yeah, I'm just going to leave this, uh, review with, uh, the, uh, one of, uh, one of the things that, uh, Nick Tolliver, uh, the filmmaker says, um, homelessness isn't the problem, humanity is. So, um, definitely check the film out if you can, um, I b do believe there are still copies available, um, from Sub Rosa Cinema, so check the film out for yourself. Um, these are my thoughts on the uh, 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 film. Um, I, I feel like a lot of the sounds are homemade. Uh, uh, um, the voice of uh, whatever he was uh, um, hearing was muffled. Um, it wasn't as strong as it w as it was in Fleas. Um, I feel like Fleas was a better movie. Uh, 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 that's right. This is the third film that, uh, that I have seen by him. So um, I'm looking forward to the following f uh, f uh, f uh, film just to see um, how well he, he's, uh, he's come about. Um, I'm glad that uh, his work is seeing the light. Um, and uh, hopefully... You can enjoy the film uh, as it is. I, I, I do believe that homelessness, uh, homelessness is a problem in America. Um, and homelessness isn't always of their own making. Sometimes it's uh, just by forces of nature and you can't help th uh, th uh, things like that. So, in any case, hopefully you um, enjoy listening to my ramblings and... Uh, uh, just go and find the film for yourself and uh, see what you think. In any case, uh, let me know down in the co uh, comments um, how you th uh, think I did. Do you think I sh uh, should have explained it a little bit more? I do believe that much of this film was filmed outside. Um, whether it was filmed in California, I do not know. I do believe that... Um, the, uh, the filmmaker is from California. It does say Fountain Valley on the back of the uh, film, so I'm assuming it was uh, a film down location. So in any case, thank you for listening. Have a great day, evening, or morning, wherever you are. Appreciate your time spent, and uh, thanks for your traffic. Um, I'll have some more cool reviews uh, eventually coming your way. Thank you so much. You were good, kid, real good. But as long as I'm around, you'll always be second best, see?